Assalamualaikum and hi everyone So this is the last video uh, for chapter 6 That's where reproduction and power plant uh, Subtopic 6.4 development of seed and fruit And subtopic 6.5 importance of seed for survival Okay what happened after double fertilization So this is the development of an embryo we have learned about double fertilization, uh, the triplot endosperm nucleus we form uh, after the fertilization between the second male gamete and the polar nuclei. Okay, the triplot endosperm tissue will divide by mitosis to form endosperm, endosperm tissue. So this is the structure of endosperm tissue. Okay. And then, the endosperm tissue uh, is actually for food storing tissue surround, the, surround and supply nutrient to the embryo. So, endosperm tissue surround and supply nutrient. So, for the embryo, so embryo consists of cotyledon, glomul and radical. So, how about the uh, zygote? Okay, the zygote divide by mitosis. So this is zygote divide by mitosis to form two larger cell. Uh, to form two cell. First, a larger cell is for basal cell, and the smaller cell, or we call it terminal cell. The larger cell, okay, we develop into a suspensor. So this is a suspensor. Okay, and then the smaller cell will develop into embryo. So this is embryo and from the terminal cell or smaller cell. So embryo consists of cotyledon, humul and radical. So uh, how the, uh, the development of ovary is of fruit after fertilization. So this is the flower after fertilization. Okay, first of all, the petal will wither. The ovary become, uh, begin to swell, and the petal draw uh, drop off. And after that, the seed develop inside the fruit, and fruit grow bigger. Okay, let's discuss more the, about the structure. So this is how the flower develop into the fruit the ovule develop the ovule develop into uh, to become seed in the fruit okay the structure of ovule inside this uh, inside the ovary you develop into seed and the ovule become a seed the integument okay integument uh, outside of the ovule become two layer seed coat okay the integument become a seed coat. Okay, seed coat we we we, uh, we call it testa. During development of ovule and seed, the ovary develop into a fruit. Okay, the ovary of the flower become a fruit. Okay, ovary become a fruit. And then other flower parts such as stigma, steel, degenerate and leave uh, scars on the ovary wall. Okay, this is the structure of stigma and steel, degenerate and leave a scar. The ovary wall, so this is ovary wall. We develop into become a pericarp of the fruit. Okay, pericarp consists of azocarp. Mesoka and endoka. Okay, exoka is the fruit skin. Mesoka and endoka. So this is the different type of fruit. Okay, different type of fruit uh, based on their uh, relate to the structure of a flower. Okay. Uh, this is the simple fruit such as peas, aggregate fruit such as raspberry, multiple fruit such as pineapple, and accessory fruit such as apple. Okay, 
Simple fruit, the fruit developed from a single couple or several couple fused together in a single flower. It form piece. Aggregate fruit, the fruit developed from the numerous couples in the single flower. Why multiple fruit, uh, the fruit developed from couples of a cluster of flower. And accessory fruit, a fruit developed from a tissue that is not in the ovary but from the tissue near the couples. Okay, next, uh, 6.5, importance of seed for survival. What is the importance of seed? Seed are the structure used to replant most angiosperm to maintain survival of the plant species. Okay, so seed are, uh, is used as a structure to replant. Seed have, spe uh, seed have specific feature to increase the chance of reproduction. So this is the differences between the monopod seed and such as zimis or corn. So this is dicot or udicot. Okay, structure of seed, uh, garden beans. Okay, common beans, they have two cotyledon. We call it dicotyledon or unicot. So, this is corn. Okay, only one cotyledon. The specific feature of the seed to increase the chance uh, of reproduction, seed contain embryo that germinate to form seedling. Okay, seed contain embryo to germinate to form seedling. Inside the seed, the endosperm tissue or cotyledon is the source of nutrient to supply energy when germination occurs. Seed are enclosed by the testa, okay, seed coat, which is strong and water impermeable to prevent the seed from spoiling. That's why the seed are very long lasting. Seed can Form a dormant structure which enable the seed to be stored for a long time. And seed have special features such as light, have, spon uh, have spongy tissue, strong and do not spoil easily. Feature like this uh, important so that the seed are easily dispersed to another place to avoid competition. So this is the specific feature of the seed. That, thank you.